Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Two other channels. It helps the whole brand grow. I appreciate the support. Thanks for popping by. All right, guys, this is our acne patient who had a lot of blackheads. He had those big inflammatory ones we injected. This one went down, is coming back up a little bit. We may try to do an IND on that. But overall, man, he's like 75 to 80% better. He just told me, trust the process. <laughs> trust the process. That's yeah. so true. <laughs> um, up here on the forehead, you can see maybe three or four, hardly any to remove up there. Come over here and you can see that big giant one that he had there. I thought he might even have a six totally gone so there's nothing under there that's looking great he still has some blackheads here we're getting down to the medium sized ones one little inflammatory one here we may inject as well the ones around the lips that we got he's doing good um, he does have a little irritation from the retinoid we did increase the strength of the retinoid I usually have him stop about here because the neck does get irritated so he was going a little lower but we'll stop here and that usually does a pretty good job but overall I mean he's got a month before grad pictures he's going to be looking smooth <laughs> so on the forehead here too I'm going to turn this way just a little yeah we'll just get like maybe 5 to 10 up there but that's probably 90% better and I would put this side at probably 80% um, so after this one and maybe one more will probably be close to the end so thanks to him for sharing he saw the comments he thanks to him he, he's thanking you guys for the support as well thank you, thank you guys <laughs> yeah thank you. very Trust cool the process, okay? yeah and they're with you in the process <laughs> and they're watching so we'll get him all prepped and ready and then we'll, we'll uh, get this taken care of for him and get the next one okay maybe turn a little is that light not bad so when we have these inflammatory ones i poked a little we're gonna get some fluid out of there when we have those kind of not going down completely with an injection, usually there's some stuff in there that needs to come out. And you can see that kind of uh, yellow, serous fluid-like, and some contents. So that's going to bring that down nice. And those are coming out of pores there that were, this is, when I talked about it not being ripe before, People are like, what's that mean? And it means when you can feel the fluctuance, like how firm is it or how fluid filled is it? And you can see all the fluid that's in there now. And I barely made pinpoint holes. We didn't have to go dig deep and we got quite a bit. Oh, that just popped out, I think, on there. Yeah, it just hit. took some shrapnel. It's <laughs> mm -hmm. good though. Not too painful there right on the pushing. Mm -mm. Yeah I don't really have to push that painful and I don't need to open that all the way up either. We don't want to do that to cause any more scarring. Good once we start getting just blood then those are usually flattened out. I may even do a tiny bit of Kenalog in there one more time. And these are the ones that were at the edge before. I'm gonna do a little extractor on those. Get some pressure here. Those are scabbing up and going away too, but this whole area was pretty inflamed. A little pressure, sorry. Those ones hurt a little. Right there, get the cores out. A little cores in each one of those. right there beside it too you can see all those little that is literally a ball of core kind of uh that dries up in the middle and that's what usually occludes it in the beginning then you get some fluid development around it and you get these big inflammatory lesions so once we get that little core out these usually dry up pretty nicely and we got it out of each one there that's the last one right there and you can see they look like a perfect sphere. They're pretty hard. It's almost like a little follicular cyst, but it's really just keratin. It isn't encapsulated. And that's great. So that whole area just went down just like that. Very nice. Emptied. A little injection in there. You can see that inflammation reduction almost instantly. Yeah, so he's on a stronger retinoid. And what we're going to see is... 
we do have to push a little bit harder to get these plugs out. Everything's drying up. And that's what we want, though. See a lot more yellow ones now. And let me open that pour. Got it. Okay, so he's got these bigger ones here. I'm gonna do some Luke and some cotton swabs. You have a good bony prominence here we can push on. On the cheekbone there. Very nice. Turn just a little bit back this way, good. These are all, you can see this looks exactly like what was in those inflammatory ones we just did. And that's what happens if you don't get these out, the inflammation builds as more sebum is produced in the pore and then you get an inflammatory nodule that can scar and turn into those big firm bundles that we just did earlier when we started out there. Now this is really good over the bony prominences. When we get down here, that's his teeth under there. <laughs> hmm. You don't want to be pressing into somebody's teeth and their gums real hard with something metal. And so people will ask, <clears throat> I don't know if I said, I'm losing my voice today a little bit too. <laughs> it's coming back, I actually lost it yesterday. But all the talking gets me sometimes with allergies as well. So when people were asking, why don't you use the loop extractor? Why don't you use you know, the cotton buds or when do you use them and why? That's why. When we have a nice bony prominence, it's perfect pressure to push against. Pops those out. Very good. That's a little dry. Get some pressure on it. Cut that. There we go. Yeah, that was a big one. Got it. When we start pulling this skin up, you hardly see any plugs compared to when we first started out. Now we're getting down to just these little ones. And a strong retinoid will dry these up. So that's why I don't pay too much time on the real small ones. There's no need right medication will get the job done. A little bit at the bottom. Good, that one wasn't all the way out either. There's a nerve right there too, so that's why I didn't go all the way down. So people say, you know, one of the number one things we see is he didn't clear the pour. <laughs> you see that a lot. I come back through here and I test these and push on ones that we didn't hit. That popped out that way. <laughs> Got some poppers today. Very nice. But when you pull the skin, you can see, that's how I know where they're at, why I'm doing what I'm doing, because I can see them when you pull it up. What pore is clogged, what one isn't. That was a big one there. Okay, that's looking great. Is that one up here? Now that's a really sensitive area. I'm not going too hard. It's cartilage behind it. Same here. Got a nice.
nice plug on that. That one's a little bit of inflammation, but got it. Okay, and we'll come up here. The forehead, just a couple. Loop extractor is great for against the bone up here. You know, it's a little uncomfortable, super effective tool. You'll see some people pull and scrape the skin. Sometimes you can adjust and kind of pull against it. You'll get more out. I try to open the pore so I don't have to pull so much. And you just get that loop right around the edge and you see we get the last of it. Now this was a very deep plug and coming back there for a fourth push you see that tiny bit at the bottom pretty hard push that's all that was all that was left I don't see anything else in there very good bit of that plug okay so we see we pull the skin there you don't see even one it looks great okay last area you can come side and this was his worst side I think it looks the best now I'm gonna do a little pressure right there because he had a bigger one we open the pore a little and there the core he probably felt that pop a little pressure in that little core and the hair follicle comes out that is essential to getting that inflammation to go down because that's what is usually the key of the start of that inflammatory, that pore getting inflamed. There's another plug there. Good. He also has one right here. That's good. And we'll come up. I'm pushing too hard just let me know I know some areas are more tender than others but whatever you gotta do yeah right mm -hmm. get the job done huh mm -hmm. you gotta see it through <laughs> yeah, I'll take the pain. and you can see that little bit of sloughing here that's what we expect with a retinoid that's why these are a little bit harder to get out, but that's okay. These are really dry here. Those are just going to be waxy yellow plugs. Finger squeezes are hard to see sometimes too. <laughs> but we can get multiple in a squeeze there. Good, good, good. 
Has your family noticed a difference at all? Have they said anything to you? Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah. who is that? <laughs> <laughs> who is that guy? Mm -hmm. I think one of the biggest things these videos do is there's a lot of people out there with severe acne. They're just like, you know what? I give up. There's nothing I can do. Nothing has helped. And to show before and afters and how it transitions, and it does take some time, but when we can get people there, it gives them hope. You know, people are like, wait, there is something that can be done. And not only acne, but so many medical conditions in dermatology, um, Steatosystoma multiplex, hydronitis superativa. I've had so many people reach out from the videos we've done of those as well to be like, you know, I didn't think anything could be done, but now I see through your videos. And that's, that's really the main reason I do the videos, to educate and uh, give people hope. sensitive too. Good dry plugs down there. You got onions in here? I know. Mm -hmm. We brought the onions again. He's not crying. <laughs> <laughs> That's just onions. <laughs> Come on, dog. Yeah, I know. Looking great. The skin's pretty tight on some of these. Nice. Got that one. thing that people can't feel that just you and I feel is you just felt right there there's mm -hmm. two pops <laughs> mm -hmm. I can literally feel it in my fingers and I know you feel it too when mm -hmm. those pop so this is deep where his teeth are very difficult to use the tool very difficult to see the finger squeeze too but we still got to get them See those come out with the needle. They're so dry they stick to it. Got it. That's the one I was going for. Okay, so a lot of people ask, how do you know when you're done? When you pull that skin, you don't really see any occluded pores. The ones you do, you push on to check. A little bit left there, and there's a little bit on the temple. Got it. And how do we know we didn't take just the top off of that? We come back and hit it again. Pressure, nothing. And all this is temporary, temporary erythema, the redness, not permanent. We didn't permanently scar them. It does have a couple dry ones right by the surface there. Just want to get that little plug right there. Retinoid's gonna do the rest there. So right here, you see that one's going down pretty well. A little pinch. We don't need much. That one's gone, the big one we were working on before. And then we turn a little bit more. Over here where we had the big one we pressed on, we are gonna put a little tiny bit in there too. Not much, just a little bleb. So I can never say there's just one more, huh? <laughs> that one right there. There's a couple right in the corner of the mouth. It's a tricky area where we get under it and wiggle those out. Okay. 
closet, just a couple. Just checking some of the pores we didn't get. I could chase these small ones all day. <laughs> See, it's a dry one. Got it. Sorry, I know that's tender on the temple, but a uh, little dry white plug. There it is. See? It was a wax, I knew I saw like a good bundle in there. I got the waxy plug out and then this came out soft after that. Very good. Just get under it, that'll pop right out. Very good. Tricky one for the last one. It's going great. Better than I expected for his severity. We've kind of changed and upgraded his uh, retinoid a little bit. We have like one more month before pictures. I, we'll be able to get one, maybe two, and I think just one more is always really going to need to be ready. Um, the bigger nodules are going down. We'll just a couple band-aids on the ones we injected. But thanks to him for sharing. Thanks for popping by. That's a good session. We're really getting the base that was still left over now. Reducing the inflammation, getting the exfoliation. A lot of people ask, um, you know, when is he going to be clear? It's going to be a constant battle. You know, we're, it's kind of like turning on a tub and then taking a bucket and getting the water out. It's constantly trying to fill. We're all we're doing is emptying the tub and cranking down the nozzle. So we're just getting a drip instead of flowing water, reducing oil, turning over that dead skin reduces more coming in. And then we get the ones that are in there out. And that's how you get people stable 90, 95% improved and then keep them there with the right medications and intermittent extractions. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And thanks again to him. Thanks for popping by again.